Hey friends, what is going on? Alvis here. Today we're checking out a brand new action RPG. You know I'm all about it, especially when there's a little bit of budget behind the game. This game is called Vikings, as you can see. So just a heads up, this is the first time I played this game. I did like one minute of testing to make sure it recorded, but I've legit not blah 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 blah. Play the game, Alvis, you play. I just want to give you a heads up. Uh, Kinetic GT, hook me up with the beta key. He's another YouTuber. He makes similar content to some of my stuff, so I highly recommend you check, in, check him out. Dude's been hooking me up lately with heaps of beta keys, so please go and show him some love. Let's choose our character and go through it. So I'm going to make this as quickly as possible. We've got Warrior or a Shield Maiden, and that looks like it's going to be it for now. So I'm going to play the Warrior. As far as hairstyles go, I just want a big, dirty, gross uh, compilation of locks like I have right now. Beard. Uh, let's go for the dirtiest beard I can find. Or no beard. Alright, I think we're going to go back to uh, this one here. This sounds awesome. Okay, we're going for the Jesus beard. And we're not going to go blonde. Hopefully we can go ginger. Oh yeah, fuck yeah. No tattoos. Let's leave them off. Clan symbol. Uh, I'm unsure what this is. Okay, so it's like a banner system. Awesome. This sounds great. Our deity. Not too worried about this all right now. I just want to get into the game and check out what it's actually like. Straight away I'm picking up... Uh, okay, we're gonna be on for it. Let's go normal mode for now, but straight away I'm picking up some I Witcher vibes in terms of the music either. design. That's just me anyway. Uh, feels a little bit Witcherish, and I like that, so this is really cool. The village had the misfortune so I'm gonna skip the storyline, you guys can check it out if you want. So here we go, we're in the game right now. The first thing I'm noticing is that the graphics look pretty friggin' good. And here's the combat. So I can see that the snow is actually being manipulated by me walking around. This is something I can actually appreciate. So combat feels very clingy as well. I feel like when I'm attacking, I'm sticking to the player. There's almost like a small forward bounce when you actually attack an enemy. I don't know if you guys can see that. All right, so we've got a skill here, number one. Let's have a look at that later. Let's just see how it works in action. Okay, wow, nice. So we've got a bit of a tutorial. I'm going to skip here. But, um, space bar to roll. So there is a roll mechanic, which is very cool. I feel like the roll mechanic is only interesting if the game plays hard enough to be worthy of rolling. And I just don't know that just yet anyway. We've got some nice little goblins here. Very easy. It should be extremely easy when you're, when you're starting an action RPG. It should all be about feeling immersed and just destroying everything. So find the chief tank. Let's go. Kill some goblins here. Alright, let's use my ability one more time after I kill these guys. Let's see how this works. So it's a nice little fire strike by the looks of it. This game looks pretty friggin' good. Oh my god, okay, so here's when the roll tactic uh, comes into play. Looks like we got that. Is that a normal monster? Hopefully that is a normal monster, because that was epic. He's enormous. It's a little bit zoomed in than most action RPGs as well. Which is quite interesting. Slew the chief and most of the warriors. I barely escaped. Uh, there was still survivors left, so we got to save some survivors by the sound of it. Tab to heal. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna see if I can really quickly rebind the healing, because I'm not a tab healer kind of guy. So let's do this really quickly. Uh, healing. There we go. So you can rebind keys, which I think is great. I'm gonna put it on. Oh, I usually run spacebar, but spacebar is roll. Alright guys, I'm going to leave it the way it is, and we'll just play the way that the game is set in the past. I think most people are used to a tab system when it comes to healing anyway. So we've got three little golems trying to take down a tower. So I like the setting of this game too so far. Uh, it's really cool. It's not uh, typical of an action RPG. So I like that anyway. So there's auto pickup on gold, and when I'm killing enemies, I'm getting health straight away. This leads him to believe that the game's going to get... A lot harder than it actually is if they've got all these mechanics, from what I see anyway. Okay, um, can I get through there or? Maybe I could smash it. No, I can't. So it looks like we got to do some other stuff. Okay, there's stuff on the mini map. Here we go. So it looks like we're going to go there and there. Let's go for the bottom one first. Seems to be where I need to be going anyway. Here we go. Here's a big guy. Dodging that attack there. Very nice. Combat feels smooth as hell off the bat. And there's some awesome combos going on as well. I just got a new item, a new helm. Okay, Rage Tutorial. Activate Rage when your bar is fully charged. Deal damage. How do I activate it? Um, press R to activate Rage. Alright, let's do it, guys. Rage time. So, in the beginning of the game, you notice that there's only two characters. This makes a lot of sense to me if they're going to include things like a Rage system, like they are right now. Almost a little bit like a uh, 
action RPG version of Lords of the Fallen, you know? Or Mad Max even, which are totally different games, but okay, let's check out this new item I got. Uh, what is it, a helm? So let's look at the stats, get no idea what they're doing here. Gift cooldown. Okay, so gifts are probably uh, the skills that we're using, which is a, a nice way of naming them anyway. Armor 13. I like it when games redo stuff. They don't have to follow uh, what everyone else is doing and calling them skills. So, okay, so we go down here and across there. Let's do that first. So this is stamina bar that I'm seeing on the left. This is great because if you have a roll system, most of the time you can roll faster than you can walk because what's the point of having a dodge if it's slower than just walking out of the way? So the idea that they have a stamina system on that is uh, very good. So my character just leapt forward then. I didn't press anything. Uh, this is really cool. Okay, so we s now I know what's kind of going on here. We're saving soldiers. We've just saved one. I've got a better idea here. Let's pick up this gold. I hope you guys weren't screaming at the screen when you seen it earlier on. But um, so far, so good. I'm really liking the combat. And uh, this poor bird, she's getting annihilated. Let's go and help out and use some of my skills. Let's go for a fire slash. Cool. We saved her. Meet survivors in the uh, in the mill. Okay, so it's on. Everything's located on the mini map. Now, I actually do like this as a feature. I hate hand holding or oh, hold up. I'm gonna kill Jotan right now. Uh, I'm gonna be focused on that first. Uh, I feel like I should get his minions. Oh, I'm taking some hits here. Oh, quick, get out of the way. I wonder if I got my rage up. No, I don't. I can see it now in the bottom left. This is a circular ring. That's what I'm looking for for rage anyway. Okay, let's heal with tab. Cool. Okay, we did it. Uh, we also got a whole heap of new gear. I'm going to put that on. The game's obviously giving us uh, gear right now because we, we want to be putting it on. And there's my mercenaries. Are they active or are they just hanging around for the quest? Jotan ambush. So I'm not controlling this. This is the game. And I got an achievement. So cool. Hooray for me. I achieved playing the game. Reward. Okay, quest done. Cool. So we've got some kind of um, shards. Uh, gold. So once again, guys, I am going to be skipping the storyline because I do actually want to play this game through myself. And I want you guys to check this game out as well. So I really feel like... Um, oh, I like, his, I like the voice acting. Okay, we got a merchant. This guy is a merchant for sure. Okay, so the damage is less. But what I'm going to do is buy a weapon. Okay, the damage is much higher on this one as well. Oh, this looks awesome. Can I buy this? Let's buy it and see if the two random, one to two random affixes includes damage. Because that'll be cool to know. Okay, I actually crafted this. And what did I end up getting? Movement speed plus four on a weapon. That's quite unique. Movement speed in ARPGs is very important in the end game. So I like that this is happening. Uh, do I have any stats here that I can see if I equip it that it's better? So no immediate stats. I'm sure if I press character or probably C, I can see that my damage might have went up. Either way, who cares, guys? I just want to explore as much as I can right now in the short time that we're running the video. I accidentally used the potion. I only got one potion left. Actually, what we're going to do very quickly is try and craft some potions. Even though we haven't needed them yet, uh, seems like a pretty good idea. So that was a one-handed weapon, by the way. We should have got a two-handed. Damn it. Okay, cool. And there's an upgrade button too, so we can probably upgrade our smith. What does the game want me to go? Let's press M. So we've got a quest over here. Let's check this out have while we are about here. I was a trials of if you are, but beware. Trials, trials of God's tutorial. Not worried about that for now. Sounds like a rift system, possibly. I don't know. Let's go down to the quest and see what the game's actually going to offer. I also want to see how linear it is. So what is this? Uh, an altar. Sacrifice blood at altars to level up. So that's what those redstones were right, leveled up, I believe. Gain new gift points. With skills, each god grants different gifts. Passives and active. So I did choose the first god that I chose anyway. So sacrifice 200 blood to gain a new level. Let's do that. Let's see how, uh, if I've got 200 blood. Okay, we can increase some stats here. So the first thing I'm going to go for, I think, is... Uh, let's see how much damage we get. 1% damage. And, uh, okay, so that's it, guys. 1% doesn't feel really good, um, to be absolutely honest. So I'm going to go back here 
And let's try out upgrade, cause okay, I'm I'm pretty pretty far away from upgrading. All right, cool. One percent damage. I'm not too fond about that. I don't like games when they give you one percent upgrades. It has no value to me. I'm sure it does in the long run, but um, immediately uh, it does not. So where are we going now? We got another thingy, -o, another thingo over here. Let's go and check this one out. See what it is. Hopefully it's a merchant I can buy potions from, and hopefully I do have gold. Okay, cool. Uh, dealing with... So what is this? A raid list. Travel to raid. So there is a multiplayer mode in this game. Just a heads up. Okay. So, so you can craft, so you can upgrade weapons or sharpen them. Apparently. It is unwise to let a yokel live near... I don't want to give away any spoilers with the storyline, but it looks like we're doing a... Uh, a raid. Find and defeat uh, Jokul. Expose the hostile. Okay, let's just go. We're going to be fine here. I'm liking the new damage on the weapon. And I really like the fact that when you kill an enemy. What's shooting me right now? When you kill an enemy, they explode. And snow, deeper snow, feels like it's making me move slower. So uh, where are we going? Looks like we're heading over here. Okay, cool. Okay, they're everywhere. we got lots of guys. And it's not too hard as well. It feels comfortable, feels approachable. I'm sure it's going to get a little bit more difficult as we go on. The monster types have been pretty fun as well. We've got the imps from the start, those big ogres, and now wolves straight away. So they're clearly not milking the same art style for the first 20 minutes of the game. But look how pretty this shit is. Look at this, guys. This looks friggin' amazing. The trees are covered in snow. It's, it feels gritty. I wonder if this is based on the um, the TV show, Vikings. I highly doubt it. Highly doubt it, but you never know. Okay, little raven. What's this thing? Can we smash this? Yes, we can. Oh, a nice little secret there. What was that? Get away. Oh my god, the birds were attacking me. I didn't even see that. What was that that I just opened? I don't know. Let's have a look. We got some more loot. Okay, we got one upgrade. Should we get this? What is this? Magic, light, return 3% damage. Let's go with this one. It's got more armor. I'm down with that. Cool. Oh, wait. What was that? Uh, weapon effect. 2%. Okay, let's see if this works. How do I do this? Um, do I put it on the weapon? Oh, wait. We're bugged. Does it stack? Is that a thing? Like I said, guys, this is all new for me. So, um, yeah, this is, this is all brand new. So, what is it? Category blood. Weapon effect. 2%. So, I think I'd stack that. That's chilling. Like I can put this here. I is that a bug or is that is that how it works? I don't know. I'm gonna leave it there and we'll see. Back to inventory. No, that's not how it works. It's a bug. <laughs> I thought there might have been a sound effect anyway. If that was the case, you know what I mean? Like a like a small upgrade bonus sound. But um, yeah, it's not the case. I really want to kill these birds though. These feel like the druid ravens from Diablo 2 in just a modern engine. Come on, you bastard! Come here. All right, all right, all right, let's keep moving forward. Fuck these ravens, I'll come back for them. Why am I getting shot? What's attacking me right now? What is hitting me? What is this? Why am I dying? What is hurting me? I'm frozen. No, there's survival mechanics. There's freaking survival mechanics. Amazing. Yeah, so if you're in the cold too long, you take damage. I don't know how that's going to translate over to an action RPG. But I mean, if it does, it does. And uh, yeah, we can see by the meter here. I really don't like the fact that I am dying so fast. And uh, I am taking some hits. Where did that guy go? Did I really just kill him that quick? Okay, fair enough. Hopefully if I... this, I'll tell you what would be really awesome. If I do get uh, too cold hope that when you attack, the cool meter, the weather, temperature, climate meter, whatever, drops. That'd be really cool. Oh, wow. Wolves diving. What is this? What was that? Critical hit. Double kill. Okay. Okay, I feel like I should get this guy first. He's down anyway. And we got some archers. So they're finally introducing uh, some different type of monsters in terms of uh, where you position yourself anyway. So obviously we want to go for the ranged monsters first. So he just howled. I assume that buffed uh, his teammates. I am taking quite a lot of damage. I've used three potions. 
And, uh, yeah, guys, I've only got one left, so hopefully... Uh, what is this? It's a totem. Okay, that's part of the quest, most likely. And we got a heals. Nice. And a big-ass chest, and, of course, uh, we got some resources. Wood. Wow, this, this game seems like it's got a lot more to it, but I'm taking too much damage, so I'm going to go stand by this fire to try and cool me down. Uh, I'm so surprised that that is even a mechanic in this game. Let's go back and kill this wolf. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. All right, let's keep going, guys. So we got a... What is this? Oh, okay. I can rage now, which is nice to know. Let's rage when we get up to the next uh, pack that I'm genuinely worried about. I'm not too worried about what's going on here, though. Uh, did that... What did that do? Come on, man. Is this a thing? Can I... How do I get across here? What am I missing? What am I missing here? What am I missing? Um, come on. How do I get across this here? Jump? Jump? What is that? How do I do that? I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully it's not something so simple that you're all looking at and hating. But uh, maybe we need to come back. Who cares? We'll come back for it anyway. We'll figure it out later. Uh, as I mentioned, I just want to get as much as the gameplay as I can possibly fit in one video for you all to see. To let you know if you really do want to play this game. Because what I will say is that, you know, um, Kinetic hooked me up with the beta key. And I was checking it out on Steam. And it is quite a, an expensive game. So I feel like I want to play it a little bit more after just the first impressions. You know, in my own time and figure it out if it's really worth uh, how expensive it is. But, you know, everyone's different. Different financial status. So maybe uh, if you're craving an action RPG, it might be worth it. But I just want to give you a heads up. It is uh, fairly expensive for a game that, um, if you want to try it out, it is expensive. So let's see how it turns out anyway. Should I grab this? Yeah, why not? It's there. Never going to be going back. Okay, what is this? What is all this stuff? I feel like I should be paying more attention to the mini-map. That's mine. That looks like a checkpoint, maybe? And what was this thing? Sacrifice blood. Okay. Back to the uh, blood sacrifice. I don't know. I just want to keep walking through and uh, explore what more we got. Hopefully, we get some kind of boss fight because that would be a fantastic way uh, to finish up. Because right now, this is really satisfying. Oh, God. I'm completely trapped. Cannot move from that. So they have got CC, and it is unforgiving. This bloody raven. Why is that not working? Okay, there we go. Trying to use my skill. Alright, let's rage. Let's get this going. we got enough wolves here to make this happen. Gonna use a potion, just in case. Left one wolf behind. We'll come back for him. Oh, guys. Uh, it's extremely satisfying with the way that they zoom in. And the lighting changes with the combo. I really feel like this is a lot of value that they're adding with these effects. Uh, it's almost like the most similar in terms of like these effects really does remind me of Mad Max. Which is a pretty good sign because if you don't know, Mad Max is one of my favorite games of all time. And check out these ice golems. So they are adding a slow effect to me when I do attack. What was this thing, by the way, over here? Is it just just health? So I think it's just letting you know that, hey, uh, if you do get affected by the cold effect and you are taking damage, they are still there. So that's nice to know. So many extra mechanics added into this game that you would not expect for this genre. For me personally, this is translating very well. Uh, easy to pick up as well. Like, I immediately identified with what that was. That's going to break? No, it's not. It's a bit of a scare. Come on, you bastards. Get out of the way. And I like that they have got health globes that you can pick up. So, what's interesting is that Diablo 3 is five years old now. And some of the things that Diablo 3 introduced, like health globes, well, as far as I know, that game did. Things like health globes, picking up gold automatically... Uh, lots of small things I'm seeing in this game as well. So they're clearly learning from the predecessors of this genre anyway. I'm sure those features have existed in many other games. But, um, so I'm very close to dying here. or about to be frozen. So I really want to make my way uh, over here to this, this fire and start getting my health back. And I'm trapped and there's monsters everywhere. Oh my god. 
I'm going to check my inventory very soon. My rage is halfway. I would like to rage right now, to be absolutely honest. Okay, there we go. Let's make our way on the left here. I don't want to confront all of those guys in one big hit. Is that frozen lake going to unfreeze when I step on it with too much weight? Okay, they're going down. They're going down. Uh, just to carry on the... Oh, shit. About to die. Just to carry on the thought that I mentioned uh, earlier about, you know, what other action RPGs have done. A lot of destructible items as well. So, cool. And it seems like my health is being uh, replenished. Uh, sorry, my potions are being replenished by items that I'm frequently picking up in the game as well. Uh, I haven't really been paying attention too much to what's been dropping on the ground. I'll check my inventory now. We have got Rage up, but I like the idea that uh, potions feel almost Dark Soul-esque as well. I'm trying to get as many references on how I'm thinking and interpreting this game as possible. So let's have a look at our inventory. We did just go through quite a few items. Okay, there's the empty slots that we're looking for. And uh, Storm Brooch, we can't use this yet. Let's see if this is how it works. Right click maybe? Okay, let's just, uh, is this better than my item before I equip it? Yes, significantly. For a two-hander anyway. So how do I put this in here? Maybe I need a specific NPC to be able to pull this off. Anyway, I think uh, this is a pretty good first impression. What I might do is play the game a little bit more in my own time and share some more experiences. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'll continue on from where I am now. If enough of you guys like the video, and I'm not trying to bribe you, just don't like the video, whatever, but uh, if the video goes well, I'll play some more anyway. And I hope you enjoyed this new look. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, friends. See you next time.